Hello friends, I am Dr. Pavitra and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel, Doctors Chennai. I graduated in India and I am currently working in the UK in NHS after GM's registration. And through these videos, I am trying to help international medical graduates to go through PLA pathway or MRCP pathway to get the registration and to start their career in the UK. The topic for today is what is Brexit and how the thing Brexit is related to us, the international medical graduates. If many of you are wondering what is Brexit and how it's going to change the future of international, international medical graduates in the UK, this is the video for you to watch. Before we get into the topic, I'd like to request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that like button to encourage me to do more videos to help international medical graduates that is all of us brexit brexit is a british exit from the european union before we get into what happens after brexit you should know what's really happening or what was happening before brexit there is a european union where nations of the european continent including uk have formed a union to help each other out in forms of trading and accepting and respecting each other's systems how it works when it comes to medical profession the nations in the european union are expected to treat the medical education in other countries that are in the union um, as standard as their own so any doctor in any of the european countries can work without any medical knowledge or uh, testing from the other nations of the union so it was the favorable gm's registration that was for eu citizens that is international uh, european union citizens compared to other doctors where they had to take the lab exam to prove the medical uh, competency now through brexit uk is actually getting out of this european union to become independent so that it it won't be in the need of respecting the European medical educations to uh, equal to the standard of UK education. That means all the international medical graduates, including European Union citizens, have to take the same measures to get the GMS registration. There won't be any favoured GMS registration for the EU citizens. Um, and they have to go through the same pathway that is PLAB or MRCP to get the registration in the GMC. That, that is actually kind of uh, opportunity or good thing for international medical graduates who are not from EU because they will get the equal opportunity as that of any other European citizen to work in the NHS. The second thing is if UK become independent and that's make uh, European doctors to come and work in the NHS difficult. There will be less input or less transfer of European doctors to the NHS to work in the UK. Uh, so there will be more vacancies for other international medical graduates to apply and work as a doctor in the UK. Last but very important thing to consider at this time to start a PLAB journey or to become a doctor in the UK is that all the medical professions and specialties are in the RLMT exemption list. I'm not really sure for how long it's going to stay like that. So if you are considering becoming a doctor in the UK to continue your career or to work in the NHS for a few years, this is the time where you have to start working and try to come to the UK because this this is the most easier situation than ever it was in the past i'm not really sure how it's going to happen and what's going to happen in the future as well uh, if you want to know more or in detail about rlmt you can search in the google you will get enough information to brief it this resident labor market test makes sure uk people get first preference in terms of any jobs uh, in our profession and it is jobs to be a doctor or the nurses uh, UK doctors will be preferred 
before it, NHS hospital can offer jobs to the international medical graduates. However, when the profession is in the RLMT exemption list, any doctor who is competent enough can get the job regardless of their nationality. That means all the international medical graduates are equal to a British graduate to get a job in the NHS. Now, international medical graduates are equal to British citizens or European citizens to get the job. If you are competent enough, this is the easiest time to get a job in the UK. So, please start working if you have the idea of becoming a doctor in the UK as soon as possible and get the registration. I, I wish you all the very best and best of luck. Thank you.